In section 263 of Beyond Good and Evil, Nietzsche discusses one of his core concepts, order of rank. As it is just one page long, we should read this section closely. There is an order of rank among human beings. Some are noble and some are base. The instinct for rank, which is also an instinct for reverence of what is noble and great, is a key marker of the higher type of man. Regarding the psychology of the noble soul, Nietzsche speaks of two events. First, the trial of seeing something or someone of high rank unprotected by authority and manners. Second, the process of testing and discovering a noble soul by testing its instinct for reverence, including self-reverence. For more on this, see section 287. Nietzsche also diagnoses the resentment of the base soul, which spurts up like dirty water at the sight of anything noble or sacred. This is ressentiment, another important concept in Nietzsche's philosophy. Reverence for high rank is a matter of feeling, not reasoning. It issues in a suppression of self, restraint in the presence of holy objects. Nietzsche says it is the product of centuries of tyrannical authority, protecting such things from popular hands. It is possible to train the masses in reverence. The lasting public reverence for the Bible, he says, is perhaps the best bit of discipline and refinement of manners that Europe owes to Christianity. Among his contemporaries, Nietzsche finds more to admire in the lower classes, whom centuries of Christian culture have trained to keep their unclean hands off of holy things, than in the cultured elite with their haughty insolence. Here again we see Nietzsche criticizing the tacky bourgeois sophistication of people produced by the modern education system. I'll finish with a quote from the end of this section. Perhaps there is nothing about so-called educated people and believers in modern ideas that is as nauseous as their lack of modesty and the comfortable insolence of their eyes and hands with which they touch, lick, and finger everything. And it is possible that even among the common people, among the less educated, especially among peasants, one finds today more relative nobility of taste and tactful reverence than among the newspaper-reading demimond of the spirit, the educated.